Hi, this is QDC. What we're going to build today is Minicraft's Boeing B-29A Super Fortress. I'm not much of a model plane builder myself, but I recently went to Travis Air Force Base Museum and in there um, I found a lot of cool airplanes that really inspired me to build this particular um, model, model plane. And it was really the B-29. Uh, Travis Air Force Museum had a B-29, an honestly very large, big B-29 uh, Super Fortress over there. So what you're about to see right um, next is a clip of my adventures over to that um, Air Force Base Museum. What you see right behind me is the Boeing B-29 Super Fortress. This is the actual airplane, not the actual airplane, but the airplane type itself that flew over Japan and dropped the atomic bomb. Let's go take a look at it. Gun sights, Evelyn Dick. It's hard to imagine that this plane. This type of plane was the one that dropped the bomb over Japan and started the, the atomic age, the nuclear age. You might have noticed that the name of the airplane, Miss America 1962. It's, uh, the name was called not because it was flown in 1962, that bomber was actually from World War II. And the reason why it was called Miss America 1962 is an interesting story. The crew members were all married and they all wanted their daughters to uh, participate in the Miss America beauty pageant. And in order for them to uh, be entered into the contest, they need to be at least age 18. And so they named their plane Miss America 1962. Now, when I was looking for a model to build of the Boeing B-29, I had two choices. Either I could choose the Revell model, which is in 148 scale, or the Minicraft one, which is in 144 scale. Uh, the 148 scale was just too large for me. I just couldn't find any place in my house to actually put that in. Uh, to display it, so I chose the smaller one instead. Let's go ahead and build. Let's go take a look inside. This is my first time building a Minicraft model kit. We have the clear parts. The fuselage. The wings and engine parts. the decal, and the instruction sheet. The instruction sheet looks easy and straightforward in seven easy steps.
I'm about to mask off the clear part that's on this model with a, um, a product called MicroMask. This product basically masks clear parts so um, to protect it when I paint the entire model. Here's one drawback about this model kit. This model kit doesn't offer a cockpit. It's just a flat piece of um, sheet right here. I want my airplane to be um, on on all on all wheels, not in the flying position. And this kit doesn't offer a um, wheel well covers that are, are in open position. So I'm going to have to actually make one myself. So this is the wheel well covers that are in closed position. I'm using the back of my hobby knife and I'm simply scribing these, uh, this slit here so I can't have two halves instead of one. I just installed a, my homemade hood and it's always a good idea if you're going to use enamel spray paints like I am to vent all the uh, fumes out from the room out, in, out, into the, uh, out into the open. And it's always a good idea to wear a pair of safety goggles like I am just in case of any accidents. So the first step in making my, uh, painting my model is to, uh, is to coat the entire model with a coat of primer. After I put on the primer, I found out that there was imperfections on my, on my model kit. So what I've done was I just simply lightly sanded over the imperfections. Right over here, right over here, and a little bit over here. So I'm going to use a spray can and spray uh, directly the main color, which is basically silver. I want to show you a challenge I couldn't overcome. As I was painting this model, I started to paint the um, other colors besides the main silver color. I painted the, um, the blue line up here and also on the leading edges of these two wings. Now what I couldn't do was to put a black stripe onto the tail section right here. And the reason why I couldn't do it is because um, my modeling skills for making airplanes wasn't that good. I, I tried to mask um, both top ends and actually use a um, my God, I don't know what I'm saying this word. My airbrush to actually uh, paint a nice straight black line right here. I couldn't do that um, because of my masking techniques. It just bled right through. Um, it, the paint got into the into the mask and it actually bled right through. I tried several times. It, it just simply didn't work. So I'm gonna have to uh, just go with a historical inaccuracy by leaving this black stripe out of this. What I've done was I protected the entire model with, uh, with Future Floor Wax, uh, which is in this particular case under the name of the brand name Pledge. I'm going to use a dilution of uh, black oil paint and mineral spirits and I'm going to give this entire model a wash. After applying the wash, I'm using this wide brush. It's clean, it's dry, and I'm going to wipe off most of the excess wash in this vertical direction, like this. This is the completed model. Um, this model is a lot of fun for me to build. There are some things that I want to point out um, that I didn't like about the model. Like I told you earlier, um, I didn't like that there was no cockpit detail in there. But once I put on this uh, clear canopy, it hides away the entire cockpit, so that's no big problem. Another thing I didn't like about it was that it did not include a window. You're given a decal, a black decal, to represent a window right here. 
and the propellers don't look that realistic to me. This is a very fun kit. I'll build it again. I certainly had a lot of fun building this model kit. Uh, this model kit, like I said before, does have some drawbacks, but there are a lot of positives too. I would build this kit again. This kit was very easy to build, and I recommend this uh, model kit for people who are, who are just even a novice, because it's so easy, really easy to build. What you're going to see next is a video slideshow of the completed model kit. But before I go, I just wanted to know that, as always, just because I put this, mod, uh, this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a professional expert at model kit building. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model plane, a model tank, a model ship, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching and have a great day.